Session 3 starts with Red and Orange Bros annual death. This time he fell off a cliff. At this point, none of us are surprised. I mean, you know, we don't really bat an eyelid anymore. I thought it'd be pretty funny if I tried to trick everyone into thinking I fell off a cliff too. Um, that would probably raise up a lot of attention in the chat. I wasn't fooling anybody. I mean, Martin took maybe three seconds to realise I was faking. I make some acacia slabs for a trap I'm going to do later. On my way to Martin Mountain, I see none other than Martin himself in a cave. I try and scurry away as quick as possible because I do not want him seeing me go towards Martin Mountain because he thinks I'm going to Zap Dance. Not very far away from where I find Martin, I find Martin Mountain. So I now need to wait for Pop to do this trap because I'm going to need his assistance. After about 10 minutes and Pop going the wrong direction, he eventually finds his way to Martin Mountain, so we got there in the end. Now to explain my master plan. I'm going to give Pop all of my lives until I'm on red. Then I'm going to place a lapis block where the water should be in the elevator, break the staircase, and then when Martin climbs up the stairs, falls through and dies, he respawns and then dies again, falling through the elevator to get back. As I'm trapping the stairs, Martin realises my name tag is red and alerts everybody in the server that I am now red, so we have to play it off like it was a trust exercise. Martin tries to bug with me not to kill him, but the damage is done. Pop quickly gives me my lights back. In a sudden turn of events, Martin throws me the enchantment table only for Pop to swoop in and steal it. The boogeyman is picked. It's neither me or Pop, so now we have to find out who the boogeyman really is. Martin makes a fire pit, which I quite happily punch Zap into. Martin is the boogeyman. You might be wondering why I'm punching Martin, well the truth is I want Zap to win, so Martin dies, respawns, and possibly falls for my trap. Nothing happens until Red dies of full damage again. After a short tea break, Martin starts attacking Zap Dan again. But here's the kicker. Yeah, down. No, I'll go down this. Wait, no, that's lapis. I knew it, I should. Then I had the idea to give Pop all my lives so I was wed again, so I could kill Zap Dan. Now, the next part's a bit crazy, so I'm just gonna let it play out. Now, I want you guys to know that Zap could have not attacked me there. In fact, he shouldn't have because he was on lime green. So, in the thing that was about to happen, I literally, there was nothing I could do to stop this. Then, Zapdan hit the lapis block. Then, Zapdan made a fatal mistake. 